This new Shadow of the Earth Tree Sorcery is so broken that I'm almost sure it is getting nerfed very soon. If you're having trouble with a certain DLC boss or just want to have fun with a stupid OP build, then I definitely recommend trying this spell before Miyazaki's son decides to nerf it down to the ground. Impenetrable Thorns is a Shadow Tree Sorcery that summons three rows of nasty and very hurtful thorns that both do damage and build up hemorrhage, making it a menace to everything that moves in this game, and this includes enemies that do not bleed. The spell works nicely when used from afar, as it does have three individual rows, but will obviously excel if you manage to hit it closer to the enemies, as they will be hit multiple times. Due to its hemorrhage focus, this spell will fit better with builds that favor arcane, as you will get multiple blood procs in a matter of seconds, which is why you should absolutely go get it. This sorcery is found in Shadowkeep and to get it you can use the storehouse 7th floor side of grace as a reference. After pulling the lever that rotates the center beams, make your way across the room and jump to the balcony, making sure that you drop gently from the edge to land on the platform below. This is where you'll find your spell. Alternatively, if you have the dark chamber entrance grace just at Mesmer's door, you can backtrack down the stairs and onto the right to find the same platform. Now that you got it, how do you make it powerful? Impenetrable thorns will drain a small portion of your HP every time you cast it, and it costs 15 FP and 22 stamina per cast, which are both reasonable amounts. To get the most damage out of Impenetrable Thorns, make sure you level up your Arcane stat to at least 60 or 80 if you have the levels to spare, as this will greatly boost the amount of Hammerage buildup you do. You will also need some intelligence, as not every enemy will bleed, so consider bringing this stat to at least 30 or 45 if you have the levels to. Other than that, and depending on how comfortable you are with the game, you will need to pay attention to your HP stat, as you will be losing health very frequently. You can have the levels, but your equipment is also very important, so let's see what I use here. To make the most out of this spell, you'll need to use a staff that scales with Arcane, and for that, we got the Albinaric one that can be looted from Volcano Manor and upgraded to plus 25. Or you could also get the Maternal Staff from County Mir. When it comes to fashion, you'll be rocking Alberich's set that can be looted as soon as you reach the Fortified Manor in Lindale. Each piece of this set will increase your damage by 6%, as long as you don't use the altered versions. Occasionally, you can also use various masks for the head spots. In the Talisman department, consider using the Magic Scorpion Charm for 12% more damage, the Lord of Blood's Exaltation for 20% extra attack power after bleed procs occur, the Graven School or Graven Mass Talismans, and if you want to go a step further, any of the other Exaltation Talismans if you plan on procking another status on you for a possible one-shot setup. Lastly, for your physics, and this is another one of the big new things we got with the DLC, we're using the Blood Sucking tier for 20% more damage at the cost of 1% HP per second, and the usual Magic Shrouding tier for another 20%. Pair these with the usual Golden Vow and Hall of Shabribi or even Terra Magica if you're feeling funky, and you got yourself one of the most broken ways to deal damage in Elden Ring. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to the channel.